Alright folks, come follow me. We're going to take a peek into the Vintage Vault Arcade and Game Room today. This uh, arcade and game room is uh, 1,100 square feet. Uh, it's kind of uh, a dream come true. I think uh, at our old house, which was a split level house, uh, our garage was kind of overfilling. My wife wasn't too happy about that. It was probably, had probably about 20 games at that time. And because of a growing family, we were looking for a bigger home. And specifically, I wanted a blank canvas for this game room. And so I found this, this basement. Uh, part of it's uh, already finished with bedrooms, but there was 1,100 square feet of unfinished basement. Believe it or not, this was all just gray concrete at one point. And, uh, even though I brought 20 machines with me, the collection today has now grown to 41 machines. So the neatest thing about uh, each machine, as with most collectors, is that every last one of them have a, has a story. You know, how you fixed them, where you got them, um, kind of road trip you had to go on. Like this, this Simpsons uh, arcade machine, when me and my wife had our first uh, baby together, we went and picked this, this up in Chicago and uh, went to Medieval Times and took the arcade machine with us uh, to the uh, Lake Michigan and it's like a six hour one way road trip, it was pretty fun. So I always remember that vacation every time I look at this machine. And uh, a lot of these other games, like I said, each one of them has a story. This emergency call ambulance, believe it or not, I was laid up in a hospital after I just got out of surgery watching a, an auction on eBay and uh, I just couldn't help myself. This was about three hours away, and I won the auction while I was laid up in the uh, hospital bed. Uh, and it's an ambulance game, go figure. My wife wasn't too happy about that, but oh well. So as you can see, uh, you know, I would just call it my arcade, but it's also more of a game room. People refer to it as a game room. You know, you got things like basketball hoops and pool table and and the kids got their uh, TV set where they can play all their console games and, and there's a little bit of an eating area. So, uh, all right, let's look at a few more of these games here. Now this Tron game is my latest pickup. I got this one, uh, been wanting this for a long time with the uh, Tron Legacy movie that just come out, but the prices were artificially high because of all the game, because of the movie, everyone raised the prices, and some uh, old guy bought this uh, off an operator and had it sitting in his uh, corner of his basement for 20 years, 20 years in an unlit cocoon, and then sold it to me, so lucky me, I'm really happy to have that Tron game. My wife's game, favorite games are the Mega Touches, had one and bought another one with the uh, purpose of uh, upgrading my existing one and then selling the other one and my wife wouldn't let me sell the second uh, arcade game or second Mega Touch so go figure. That's her favorite. So we use this uh, game room for entertaining, birthday parties, Thanksgivings, Easter, Christmas holidays, uh, church, uh, children's church and youth group game days and uh, it's been uh, real fun for everyone and real fun for us and, and my, the arcade collecting has kind of grown on my wife because it brings so much happiness to everyone that gets to come down here and enjoy it with us. And this bar, i got to give kudos to my wife's uh, father who helped us custom build this oak bar. Beautiful oak bar here. Kind of the centerpiece, the center island of the entire game room where everyone can kind of hang out. So, Anyways, that's it. This is the Vintage Vault Arcade and Game Room, 41 machines, 1,100 square feet, so signing out.